Frankie baby. How are ya? I'm doing well, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just hanging out at uh, Gothorp Hall. You never heard of it? Frankie baby, you gotta get out of London every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, it's an Elizabethan country house on the banks of the River Calder in Padaham in the borough of Burnley, Lancashire, England. Its origins are in a uh, Pell Tower, a strong fortification built by the Shuttleworths in the 14th century as a defense against, you know, the invading Scots. Yeah, I definitely knew that. Yeah, so what's up, man? Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes sense with Chilwell. Well, that's a very... Yeah. Uh... Hey, uh, yeah, we're we're good. Let me let me just make one other call, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll call you right back. Hey, Woodward. Yeah, yeah. Deal's off, brother. Ha <laughs> ha, sucker. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Welcome into episode four of Turf More Tiki Taka. Hopefully, you're enjoying the series as much as I am. This has been a freaking blast. So, my friends, we have loaned Marcus Alonso, 29 years old, no longer wanted at Chelsea. You know what's better than paying 41 million for a player? Paying about 2.6 for a player for a year of that quality. Outstanding. We did have a loan lined up for Rojo for uh, at Man United. And uh, it was one of the... Honestly, uh, Rojo was one of the first players I scouted. It was really more of a desperation. Like, uh, he could play left back, but he's more of a center back. But he could play left back, but I don't love his crossing and his dribbling, right? Like, not very good. And I was like, let me take one last look. And I went through some of the Premier League teams that typically have a bunch of players that they then loan out. And I landed on Chelsea and saw that Alonso was listed. And he's listed for $28 million. So our deal includes an optional clause to buy for $28 million, which we are never going to exercise. But they were insistent on having it. And I think if we win the FA Cup, they get one hundred and forty grand. But we're paying... Um, if we come over to here and find him... Um, we're paying essentially half of his wages. A little bit more than that, right? Um... Which is fantastic. I think it's a great deal. I mean, he is clearly our best left back. Um, now, you you could argue, boy, you got a lot of left backs. We could also play midfield left if for some reason we want to play like that. In a bind, he can cover center back. He's tall enough to do that. So, he gives us some quality depth. It did cause a bit of a ruckus with Eric Peters and, like, most of the squad, except for, interestingly enough, Tarkovsky were like in his corner and so I've, I've given him the opportunity to earn more playing time over the next two months but that, that that's why he's playing today so I had originally told you we we're gonna play Man United and Tottenham but let me catch you up on our results so we beat Carlisle 3-1 as you might expect we should have done with a missed penalty from Johan Berg Um we drew with Newcastle away and it says the board's not thrilled with that I'm thrilled with that I'm not saying Newcastle's amazing, but it was four days after this game. We rotated a little bit. Um, ben Mee's still coming back from injury. So I was totally fine with it. it. We're learning a new system, okay? We are undefeated on the season. But what I realized, all that to say, after getting past the second round, we have the third round. And if we get past Birmingham, Birmingham. See, in the United States, it's Birmingham, okay? There's a, t a city in Alabama, Birmingham. Alabama, and it's, I think, you all over in the UK call it Birmingham, which is much more proper. Um, if we get past them, they're a championship side, currently doing all right. They're seventh, but historically not been so good as of recent. And then if we get past them, we would have a game on the 29th. So, all that to tell you, viewers, I don't know what we're going to cover today. It could be a Carabao Cup doubleheader. It, it could be Carabao Cup and Man United. We're going to find out. However, we're currently 7th. I'll take it. Now, again, you could argue Newcastle, their one point is from us, but it's early in the season. I think we all know, just like in current day um, Premier League, the table doesn't really count until like 10 games in. Um, 
we got some some contracts going on with you know coaches and all that kind of stuff i've tra tried to load jimmy dunn out but he doesn't want to go out on loan which i think is a bit odd uh we did sign dennis vavro so he's kind of covered our center back problem uh, now that he's here of course he's not rated as highly as he once was which is hilarious <laughs> Thank you, scouts. Um, but it's, I still think he's a good pickup. He's We paid two and a half. He's worth 10 million. So, you know, hashtag profit, right? Um, but aside from that, that's really where we're at. So with the squad today, we're going to stick with Nick Pope all the way. Paolo's going to get a start. Dennis is going to come right in. Ben Me still working on that match fitness. Eric Peters because dynamics. Clinton Mola is going to get a start at the DM because I'm just anticipating if we get past... Uh, Birmingham that we're gonna just have game after game after game after game we are gonna be forced to rotate so this is a good opportunity to get him in Dale Stevens is gonna get a start today um, he's got a goal on the season I'm tempted not to play Jack Wilshire but we do need that creative threat and I'd like to take him off at halftime so mostly a rotation but I think you could argue Paolo's not really a rotation Nick Pope's not obviously Ben Mee's not um, Wilshire, Jay, and then Barnes is just as good as Chris Wood, depending on who you're asking. The star ratings kind of go back and forth, but that's, that's kind of where we're at. All right, let's hop right in. One thing has been pointed out to me in the comments, which was very, very useful. So your comments are important. By the way, you, you are crushing it on the likes. It's been great. The third episode, as at the time of recording this, hasn't gotten fully to 100 likes, but we're well on our way there. So if you are enjoying the series, it real I can't explain enough to you as a content creator how important it is that you go hit that like button. Hit subscribe, stay tuned, all that kind of stuff. If you missed it, I highly recommend you go watch the live stream or parts of the live stream where there's actual gameplay of uh, me managing Scotland. It was an absolute blast. I recorded it on Friday. You're seeing this on Saturday, so I recorded it today. So, <laughs> there we go. William Nix says, there is an option in the menu to select a player for a given position to uncheck the box next to hide first 11. Thank you. I don't know why it's clicked on as default. I have a feeling. Uh, let me let me get you there, okay? Um, okay, we need to... It says we need to put Alonzo in on set pieces. I'll go do that real quick. Okay, so I do wonder if there's a thing in Football Manager where all of the things that have a check mark are automatically auto selected. I don't think I think that's a bug, right? Like on the team talks, if you want to talk to individuals, all of them are automatically marked. Um, as we looked at the comparison screen, all those are automatically marked. So I think it's just a thing where they forgot to turn something off. Um, maybe. Um, but so you can come up here. Let's say I was looking to go like, okay, who could we put in for 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 Jack here, right? Okay. So you can go to filter, and this is check marked automatically. I understand hide unavailable players. That makes sense. But why would you have this check mark? So thank you for that, William. I still think it's not great that it's defaulted to being on. So that was something I learned. Thanks to the comments for that. Um, this is how we go. This is how we go. Now you could argue we don't need Brady on support. I mean, we should, you know, like we should beat this team, right? Right? Like, right? The board's not going to be happy if we don't. So, um, yeah, let's let's go smash some people. I thought about bringing Dunn, but he's he's played recently. Again, he signed a contract, but he doesn't want to go out on loan because I didn't include it as part of the contract extension. But the contract doesn't kick in until the end of this year, right, for, for next season. I'm like, well, <laughs> that's kind of ridiculous. Um, and I have heard, hold on a second, let's get going here. Um, play your own game and you'll win, nobody cares. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm, I'm going to skip this for this game. All right. I just, there's no need for me to show you every single press conference. Oh, it's a little jittery. That's the first time I've had that. But yeah, we, sh we should be in a position to beat this team. If we don't, everyone, including the board, are not going to be happy. I think what we learned in the live stream is encourage is the new demand more. <laughs> but we'll have to see. And that praising also works. We feel like you score two goals in quick succession, like I did in one of those games. Pretty good idea. But let's see what we got here. You could argue we can play a 4 2 3 1, but I'm all about we, we got to get this system in place, right? Like, this is a good opportunity to play. The, uh, he's offside by a mile. AR. He's offside by a mile. 
I wasn't worried about that, and now I'm worried about that. Oh, wait. Oh, he was so offside. Are you mad? Checking decision. What? I mean, I'm going to have to look at that when I edit it. That seems a bit crazy talk to me. Here we go. Brady swings one in. Barnes! Thank you. Thank you. Second goal of the season. I do wit I, like, I, you know, I want to see the assist. I think it would be good if you could have goal and assist. Like, goal, second goal of the season, assist, first of the season, right? Like, that's, there's enough, there's enough space here on the screen to get that done. What do you think? I just like seeing that. Exciting game. Y you got, you got your, well worth your ticket price today. 16 minutes in. The underdogs away from home with the goal. Okay, Jack plays it out. Oh, you know what I didn't look at? All right, back has got a yellow card. Are the rules different this year in the Cabaret Cup, like, uh, from a replay standpoint? Like, if we are drawing, does it just go straight to penalties? Because I probably should have looked at that. <laughs> Who's Mola? Oh, that's the, that's the Loney. <laughs> I thought it was a bug. <laughs> Taking our time. Ticky Tucker Jared. Oh, on the rebound. First goal of the season. We'll take it. We'll take it, people. Get in. Get in. Congrats in reality to Scottish national team fans for getting past uh, Serbia in the, the penalty shootout. That was good stuff. I mean, not good that you gave up the 90 minute, 90th minute equalizer. Not that I know anything about that. Let's not talk about the live stream. What I'm talking about. Not, not better. Not better whatsoever. Uh, we're going to... Let's try it. Encourage? Oh, the courage is not the new demand more. They've all... They, I even discouraged the crowd. I tried to encourage and the crowd went, went quiet on us. Goodness me. Barnes, back to Brady, who's on the wrong side of the pitch. Can he find his way back? Stevens, a little cheeky pass. Oh, love... I love these animations. This is so much better. Okay, there's the center back. What is he doing out there? <laughs> ben me. Mmm, that's a lovely clearance, Barnes. Oh, I thought, th did the box pop up for a second? Was that just my eyes, thinking that the box is going to pop up? Well, why would you run away? I mean, I know good tackle. I need to tell him uh, to lay off his tackles. You can do that from down here now, which is a very nice addition. Still not as nice as they, autom like, I'd love a thing where you could say automatically, oh, you're on a yellow, automatically ease off your tackles. A bruised ankle, mate. Like, mm, is he the new? Is he the new Jack Wilshere? He's just like very brittle. He gets he gets a lot of those knocks. He's like, I want to come up. So hopefully we make a we can make a cup run here. I think the oh the board want us to get to the fifth round or something like that. So that's why you know normally I'd be like ah oh, care about cap whatever. It's like the board want this. And in a season where, you know, you're not exactly expecting to be in the European places, you know, if you can make a cup run, that's always a good thing, in my opinion. I do think we'll take Rodriguez off. Just, you know, we got a 2-1 lead. You would think our quality would shine through, right? Like, I know of all the trip, and I've also heard this is going to be changed. So, that's good. 0.94 XG to 0.19. Um, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even going to gesture. I'm going to say I'm delighted. Keep it up, boys. Um, but first, I'm going to say... And the other thing, I wish you could talk... If you make a sub, I wish I could talk to him. Um, wants to play on, does he? I'm, I'm soft. I'm more, I'm, I'm not soft. I'm worried about dynamics. I want, I want dynamics to go well. So, here we go. Lovely, lovely stuff. Um, 60th minute, I think, is a good time to... Hey, let's let's give the other guy a run out. I'm not even gonna talk to you. You just know you, you should know my expectations. Off you go. And then we'll. Uh, okay, this is the thing with the quick sub. If I come down here and quick sub, it uh, it doesn't pause. So you gotta. I have to watch that personally. So. Um,
Peters can play left back, yeah? Yeah, let's do that. Let's give Alonzo a run out. Oh yeah, coming on to the bench, coming <laughs> coming off of the bench for Burnley against Birmingham, it's Marcos Alonso. What are they bringing him in for? <laughs> um, I would. Why am I really gonna put pressure on a twenty-nine-year-old like guy making a hundred and ten grand a week that's worth forty-one million? Like, he's gonna be like boss, like. I can imagine the face he'd make if I was like, I, I don't want you to feel any pressure on your debut in the Carabao Cup. He'd be like, oh, Stevens has given them an easy chance at a second goal. We've closed down the angle nicely. Pope was well positioned, though. That's good. Okay, Wilshire's also in the red. So who wants his spot? Westwood, you're the only available option. Come on down. No need to talk. Just go. Go, 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 go. I would like the scoreline to be a little more towards us, to be honest with you. Um, let's try a little encourage. They don't want to be encouraged. They want me to demand more of them. Well, that was fun, my friends. I mean, we got through. That's what really matters, right? We, we got debuts for Vavro and Alonzo and Mola and uh, a second game for Steve. Like, you know, we, we got some good rotation going there, so we'll take it. Um, that was a good win for us. We'll take it. Not going to complain. Um, it could be a season. Yes, his winning goal in the 18th minute, and then we didn't do anything else. Could be a, a season-defining moment. Let's go. Um, yeah. 7.12. Can't see what it'll do in the next... Can't wait to see what it'll do in the next match. Technology. I really don't care. I, I really, really don't care. Um, I personally care, but, you know... I, I think... May maybe that checking decision... I had her. I think. I think Miles uh, uh, from Sports and Directed put out that sometimes they'll get it wrong. I do think it was wrong. In fact, my friends, we're gonna go look at it. And I heard a thump right there. No, that's not it. He's dribbling. Got a little excited. A little premature varing. I mean, when when that ball is originally played, I'm not gonna take it back. I think he's probably off. But it matters not, my friends. We are moving on. We take on Lester. Currently 18th place, Lester. How is that possible? Who did they play? Arsenal and Tottenham. Tough. Oh, they're going to take all of their frustration out on us. And then I'll bring you back for the draw, which is the same day. Yay. I mean, I know it's not the FA Cup, but my goodness, Crystal Palace losing to Preston, Man City going to penalties with Sheffield Wednesday, Aston Villa losing to Plymouth. What is happening? I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we'd love to get a Bournemouth because everyone else is also in the Premier League or an Oxford, but they play Tottenham, so that's probably not going to happen over here. You got Middlesbrough. That'd be nice. Plymouth would be nice. Preston. What? Let's just, yeah, let's draw all the teams. Okay. Bora. currently 22nd finished last season 17th we will take it let's go i don't know if this is going to show i tried to catch it but i couldn't get my record button going fast enough watch this Lauten plays it forward rodriguez i thought was offside so did the ref but then var is going to review it and watch the players they're all unhappy with the ref and then it had a box popped up. Okay, there was a giant box. So this is an improvement based on FM20. There was a giant, like, I can't, it, like, probably that big on the screen that popped up in the middle. It was like, VAR, checking goal. Disallowed. So, like, it was that fast rather than watching the ref run over to the sideline you know, penalty or whatever, right? Like, you get a quick thing. So that was, you know, that was nice. They scored right after halftime, but is this is this going to be a VAR? Oh, this one he's going to actually run. It was a tackle. All, it was outside the box, but, you know, having... Oh, there it is. That's the box. I was going to say no penalty. No penalty. 
Also thought I'd just give you an update with with that uh, loan signing. We've used all of the transfer budget. Um, an extra two hundred and seventy three thousand has come in. That actually might prove to be useful from a wage budget standpoint because I'm thinking about signing this guy for really one reason and one reason only. I mean, he does have some potential. Like we. We, we can't really use him. We'd have to sign him and like immediately try and loan him out. League one level. I'd want to make that part of the contract. Um, but you have a recruitment meeting leading into the final week of the transfer window. I didn't show that to you because it wasn't very interesting because we don't have any money. But it noted that we are devastated that we have not signed any players for the future. And we're not playing direct football. It wasn't part of it. But I came. I was like, I wonder what else they're devastated about. Yeah. Yeah. And so I thought, you know. I'm not saying this guy's a world beater, but if we sign him, does his value go up and then we immediately loan him out? So it doesn't really cost us anything. I'm going to try it. I won't show that to you, but I'm going to try it. I think it's a good idea. You know, it's hilarious. This guy's been with us so long, I forgot. He's actually on contract with Hirona. So yeah, we're not, we're not gonna, I'm not going to pay 185 grand for that. All right, we're ready for Burra. They tell you a four-one-four-one with a DM, some wingbacks with wingers, fullback on the on the right side, a roaming playmaker, and one advance forward. Right. The loss against Leicester was devastating. That tell you a lot. I don't remember. We lost three-two with the two VAR decisions not going our way. Um, I think both accurately, to be honest with you. Um, and we had an amazing cross. You know what? I might as well just show you the cross. What is this green thing? Watch this cross. This is from our center back. Which is short, kind of corner, top of the box. I mean, zipped it in. I thought Barnes might have been offside, but he steps forward. That doesn't look that impressive, but but essentially, Jamie Vardy, Jamie vardy us. Um, and I can't now see who scored. Anyway, back to the Burr game. <laughs> We're going with Barnes up top. He had a little bit of a knock, uh, like just a bruised ankle. Brady, Goodmanson, Westwood, Stevens, Cork, Peters, Vavro, Tarkovsky, and Paolo with Pope. So Alonzo goes to the bench. Ben Mee, because he's played a bunch, and we're still working on that match sharpness and fitness. He's coming back. Uh, Vidra, we may try and sell at the last minute, because I just don't think he's going to get any better. And... Uh, you know, might give us some ammunition to go buy somebody else or just to put it in the, you know, maybe we go buy an under 22 player to make the board happy. I don't know. I love that. You know, we're doing okay. We're what? Two, one and one. And they're like, you're not, you're not playing direct football. I was like, well, relax. I mean, I get it. It's Burnley, but it's now Tiki Taka Burnley. Come on. Um, let's go. Nobody cares about the fans. It's quite the contrast to the, the Scottish national team who hated everything I said during the stream. All right, off we go. Let me get our sound back on here because I turned it off. What view do you like? Director, TV, analyst, vertical scrolling, sideline. What What's your favorite option here? All right, that was interesting delay of game there. Oh, love. Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine if we'd scored that? An early tester, my friends. That was only a, apparently a .13 expected goal. Not a, not even a half chance, but... I mean, top of the box, hit the post. I think that deserves some... I mean, you know, it's it was a difficult place to be. Guys around you and all that kind of stuff. But, man. Brady. Are we going to see VAR? <laughs> Cork. Yeah! We want a penalty! Oh, here we go again. Oh, is he gonna? Is this gonna be a dive? Goodmanson's gonna take it. Uh, okay. I was wondering if that was gonna be stuck on the screen. Easy peasy. Nice job. I, I again. I know it's the care about. I know, but. I, you, do you see my point? The board's not happy about two aspects of our playing style right now. So I feel like we kind of have to make it up in the other areas. And 
I wonder if the crowd sound is broken again, because that seems awful loud in my ears. We'll see if it, if it fixes itself here in a second. Okay, Tarkovsky. Oh, he just dribbled right around him. Asambolonia. Asambolonga. Sorry. Asambolonga. <sighs> Come on. We're working on that tactical style still. Baking it in. Oh, nice interception. Okay. I mean, fair. Fair, he took a heavy touch. He said, I'm going to get it back. Look at the spin on that ball. Wow. Oh, this is the thing. It's taking me a little bit longer to go in between games because, one, there's a, I feel like there's a little bit more to do from, like, a you know recruitment meeting and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, stuff's in different places, so you just have to get used to it. But there's also – this is really nice to look at, which I don't know if that's – I mean, it's praise, but it's also kind of an indictment of – the other FMs? That's a poor pass. Why are we passing it to, with, to guys with players standing on their shoulders? Like Generally a bad idea. There's a good one. There's a line sp splitting pass. Stevens back to Westwood. F oh, ambitious. Okay, but it kind of works out. Is th Did that rattle off of the woodwork as well? Did he get a mitt to it? Where's the wood? Do I even have woodwork over here? Is woodwork an option? Oh, cleared off the line. A little nervy. Barnes holds up that play as a deep line forward. Nice job. Yes, that was a woodwork, I think. Unless there was another one that we didn't already see. You you think the it, it should ignore now that the penalty has been taken. Like, that should go away. Right? Like That's logical, right? They were playing a 4 one 4 one. It said, I, th I think it caught that it said that they're going more attacking, but I did not catch if they changed their shape. Should we react or should we just say, like, we're going to play our game? That was another really poor pass. Goodness me. But we're working on it, right? We're working on it. We're working on it. Tarkovsky. Okay. Okay. How many of you, you know, uh, I think it was Gordon in the comments that said if, uh, if Jack can't stay healthy, he'll play to 200 or 400 minutes for us. Well, he's already passed that, so that's progress, I guess. Um, how many minutes? This is my big question. I like to ask questions to my audience if you're happy, if you happen to be new. Um, I like the interaction in the comments. Um, how many total minutes do you think Jack Wilshire plays for us this season? I'll show you the squad screen at the end, you know, to, to kind of give you an idea. It's between like two and 300 right now, or maybe like three and 360 because he played another game. Um, there's still room for improvement. Let's go. I'd love to get some of our starters off like Tarkovsky and Tarkovsky and Cork those would be great did not really change the shape still the 4141 uh, let's try encouraging they don't like the encourage they don't like the encourage good stuff um right <laughs> I don't really know this. our left back is on another yellow it's good time okay we were there. Brady. Come on, son. He had, so he had somebody in front of you, behind you on the left, and on the right. Like, pick out a pass. Don't don't say it. I'm going to take the world on. You'll get it back. We'll, we'll, we'll pass it to you. Good save there by the keeper. And unless the highlight continues, we're going to make a sub here. And we're going to take Peters off. And bring on Alonzo. Again. It's a tough day when that's your substitute. Uh-oh. 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 Pope came out, though. Kind of closed down the angle. I think that's good goalkeeping. He's on a 6.7 right now. Oh, jumps up to a 7.0. I was going to demand more. Let's see. It counts? A little praise. A little praise action. We'll see if they like it. We'll see if they like it. Let's watch the line here. Yeah, that looked good. What a placed set piece by Alonzo. He was off, but Barnes was not. And he was left unmarked because of it, as you as it noted there. 2-0. Um, I would like to think that we're okay. Oh, we don't have another option. Uh, 
I still think we're going to be okay. We're going to bring on Vidra just to give him a run out. Is there anybody else that we need to get off? Tarkovsky would be good. Get Ben Me on. Have him switch sides. You know, it might be ambitious to say 10 minutes left, a 2 0 lead, but I would hope that's enough, my friends. Westwood, can he ping another one? Can we get a third? Swings it in. Oh, just wide from Barnes to, to get his brace. Three or four minutes, or uh, two and a quarter minutes left in regular time. Oh, what is that angle? What angle did you just take? But it doesn't matter because they've scuffed it wide. Two expected goals to 0.55. I think it's played out pretty fairly. Alonzo can't can't pick out a teammate. And was he offside? Was everybody offside? It looked like there were two guys offside. But apparently not, my friends. We're going to let it ride. Going to a corner. That's quality. Just dribble it right out. Good, good stuff. That's a throw water bottle situation if you're the manager. We'll take it. Again. I don't know how many people are going to be excited about this episode. I still want you to hit the like button. I hope you see the logic behind what I'm doing here. Like, Burnley is not the team to go spend $100 million. And so if the board has these goals, I want to try and reach those goals while also changing the tactical style. So if I'm going to miss on some of those, we still have to hit some of these, like, you know, we got to make a run in these cups. Uh, hands on hips, a good win, boys. We'll take it. We'll take it. Who do you want next? Oxford. Clearly, they're going to say why. I'm going to say, um, I think they represent the sort of challenge we'd want at this stage of the competition. That's pretty, pretty basic. Leads on penalties past Leicester, Man City, even with a man sent off in the 57th minute, beat Fulham 2-1. Yikes. They come unstuck. Southgate checking out Pope and Tarkovsky. Interesting. All right, my friends. Let's. I wasn't expecting us to get. Oh, I guess I. I guess I thought the board said the fifth round, the quarterfinals. So that doesn't happen until December. So that means the next time you see us, we will do a double header. It'll be Man United and Tottenham, who are currently my friends. First and eleventh. We are ahead of. Who have they played? I mean, I know it's early, but. And they lost to Oxford in the, in the Carabao Cup. They lost to Man City. They beat Leicester. I mean, okay, they. I guess they've got a game in hand or something. Yeah, okay. They'll probably be ahead of us. But I think those are two, you know, obviously bigger teams than us. Um, It'll, it'll take a good showing because apparently Manchester United are quite good this year. Nine points. They've got a plus 12 goal differential in three wins my friends if you have enjoyed this hit that subscribe button like and uh yeah what how many minutes do you think and i, I promised you i was going to show you this how many minutes is wilshire going to get he's currently sitting on 343 in four games my friends what total do you think he has at the end of the season all right my friends we will see you tomorrow for episode five part five whatever you want to call it we'll see you then thanks for watching Good turn.